Well, I guess there's a ceiling in terms of what you can accomplish financially and otherwise in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world, so we're certainly happy to see this young man cross over. There is no questioning his ground game, and Daniel, a lot of people believe it's going to translate at the highest level here in Mixed Martial Yeah, absolutely, and, and he showed, John, that he can do that. He showed that he has the ability to grapple, and not only grapple, fight anymore. He does it at the highest level, so let's see how he implements that Jiu-Jitsu base in the fight tonight against a guy that would seem to have all the answers. Yeah. It's an uphill battle, but he says that he can get it done. Yeah, we talked about that in the fighter meeting. He kind of gave us a smirk, seemingly as if he knows something we don't. We'll see if BJJ indeed reigns supreme here tonight. for days and he is as high level a wrestler as we've seen cross into this division in some time. He can do worse than having a high level wrestling base for mixed martial arts. Well he wants the pace. It's the pace and the pressure. It's what separates the wrestlers from everyone else. It's the ability to go to those dark places, live in them, make those hard moments the best moments of your day. And when you get to the octagon everything seems easier. This kid has an ability to operate in the darkness operate the tough moments. He's gonna have to try and drown his opponent, drag him to those deep waters, and try to ensure that he can't compete with him. Yeah. I'm excited to watch this kid fight, John. Oh, mentally, he's just so forged, right? I mean, he'll chain takedowns, no discouragement if he doesn't get it. It's really a pleasure to watch high-level wrestlers perform when they're at their best. We'll see if he can be back here tonight. or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tim Elliott! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mach 1, Mr. Finland Amirkani! And there's Herb Dean, he will fight. handle the action Ready. inside the octagon. Yeah. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. on it fiercely there by that overhand. Able to find a home for that right hand once again. Pretty good jab there by us. Beautiful body kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Another combination here really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Shots being landed on both sides. Hook is there again. Oh, oh another one. Oh, 
Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Under 90 seconds to go. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Slips the punch. Nice jab. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. to the corner now. Elliott's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, well, the athletes have kept the replay truck busy tonight. We will take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. He opened a cut above his opponent's eye. And now the cut becomes a story. We are going to have to watch the placement of this cut. Is the blood going to start to leak into the eye? How is he going to be able to fight through the damage that was dealt on those shots? What a great round by his opponent. But now it's on Ready. him to make the adjustments that gives himself a chance. And it's not just the cut man who has his work cut out for him. We'll see if he can make those adjustments and rally here in this next round. Effective strike there by Amir Khan. Opponents compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh, and there's that hook. This time, no good. there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. On point with that jab today. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than oh. uppercut. Oh, with authority, the body. now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Elliott's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Under a minute now to go in the round. Front kick to the body by Makwan Amir Khan. Another big body kick lane. Strong jab there by Amir Khan. Oh, oh my goodness!
Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout, Mach one, Mr. Finlan Amirkani. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that.